to one more session of pathology by Ranjit Ayar. So here I am taking one of a unique topic which might have stumped most of the pathology graduates and also sometimes consultants as well. So this is a urinary bladder lesion. I am going to show you a series of lesion which is very close in differential diagnosis which might definitely be handy for you when you write an essay answer in your uh, college and also maybe for diagnostics of sli slides. I am going to compare three different lesions here. One is a simple urothelial papilloma. The second one I am going to look at Pandalum, that's papillary urethral neoplasm of low malignant potential and I have a slide of a non-invasive low-grade urothelial carcinomas, right? I, I will show you an image of a high-grade urothelial carcinoma also and it's easily differentiable, right? So I'm going to see three lesions, three classical cases in this video. I want you to wait till the end of the video, analyze each and every important point, note it down. And I'll also share a uh, classical table, which is the older WHO, which is very, very useful for reporting a slide or maybe even you're stuck in your slide seminar to come to a diagnosis, right? So with that note, let's start. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe, right? Let's start with the initial one. Before going to the urothelial neoplasms of the uh, urinary bladder or the urinary tract, I want you to remember one thing. A normal urothelium has approximately three to six layer thickness that's what the standard books say i'll just zoom in here let's zoom in here this is not a papillary lesion this is just normal urothelial bit right it's normally three to six layer thick okay so if you can look at this the lowermost the mid two layers and you can see this flattened cell called as an umbrella cell i'm sure you must have definitely looked at the histology multiple times of a urinary bladder or an ureter if you look at this in this case especially almost quite a few umbrella cells, tiny vacuoles and big vacuoles, which is nothing but a very normal change which can happen in umbrella cells of a urothelial uh, lining or even a lesion for that matter, right? Okay, so this first thing which I want you to remember and I want you to get oriented towards the thing. This is the basal layer and then you have two or three layers and a flattened umbrella layer, right? And umbrella layer is not continuous like other things. You might have gaps in between as well, right? This is normal. In a normal thing, this is normal urethrium you generally don't see any mitosis hardly you can see a mitosis and the very vertically oriented cells that's how you see right okay with this note let's go to the lesion first lesion here this is a simple urethelial papilloma there are a few things which i want you to keep in mind when you are discussing about the papillary lesions of the urinary tract one is the architecture second the thickness of the urethelial lining third the polarity psychological features and mitosis See, all these are histopathological diagnoses. IHC will definitely help you when you're stuck in something, right? First thing, undoubtedly, it's a papillary lesion, right? I'm sure you can see the fibrovascular core and surrounded by almost in all sides by the epithelium. So it's definitely a papillary lesion. There's no doubt about it, right? So let's take one of the fibrovascular lesion, right? So this is a papillae. I hope you all of you will ag agree that this is a papillae. Okay, it's a papillae again, right? Let's zoom to this papillary area because this is from the lesion. It's not from the normal urothelium, right? So in this papillary area, can I say you are seeing the urothelium? Yes, wherever you wait. Uh, urothelium, not the urothelium, the umbrella cell, right? I hope you understood that. You are seeing the umbrella cells here, right? You can see the umbrella cells here. I'll just zoom this a little bit more. You can see the umbrella cells. Vacillation is definitely part and parcel of the disease process here, right? But you can see the vertically oriented urothelial cells and the horizontally oriented umbrella cells, right? Keep this in mind and take a note if you require it. Whenever you see umbrella cells, which means the polarity is maintained, okay? So whenever you see a lesion with a loss of polarity, it's only a low-grade or a high-grade urothelial carcinoma. Only in them, you'll have loss of polarity. So easily I can rule out this is not a urothelial carcinoma because I have umbrella cells here, here, wherever you want. Like there's a papillary lesion here, papillary area here, you do have good amount of umbrella cells ignore the vacillation that's like i said it's part and parcel of the disease right perfect so next is so uh, like i said there are only two possibilities for me uh, urothelial papilloma inverted or normal or a panlum or a papillary urothelial hyperplasia hyperplasia generally is not much of a problem but yes it's more of an undulating epithelium with very high thickness uh, let's leave the hyperplasia for now right okay so i have two differential diagnoses in mind one is an urothelial papilloma other ones in panlum. Panlum is papillary urothelial neoplasm of low malignant potential, right? Because these are the two th lesions which can have 
a normal polarity which means i can have the umbral lattices right so how do i differentiate a urothelial papilloma from pannum a very easy trick is look at the thickness if the thickness is more than normal it's a thickened urothelium it's pannum it's a normal size 3 to 6 layers right definitely 3 to 6 layers it's not thick at all right i'll definitely show you pannum this definitely wherever you see wherever you see the papillae it's not more than 6 layers right comfortably it's within 3 to 6 layers when you have a normal urothelial thickness papillary lesion with a normal urothelial thickness and your classical presence of the your uh, umbrella cell that's a not there's no loss in polarity right i want you to talk about a think of an urothelial papilloma right here the cytology will not be abnormal at all because look at this it's a very bland cytology with pro proper orientation everything is clear picture perfect here right that's how a urothelial papilloma looks right let's go to the next image next case before going into this case jumping into this case i just want you to think back again the features which i said i want you to look at the papillary papillae and the architecture the urothelial thickness the loss of polarity and the cytological features right let's zoom into one area okay i'll ask you questions i want you guys to answer though you are virtual let's answer it's it's very very simple to answer right okay let's look at this area is the umbrella cells maintained not maintained can you see the umbrella cells no let's go here let's go here can you see this guys it's not vacuolated but can you see the umbrella cells perfect the horizontally oriented cells yes you can definitely see the umbrella cells right okay if you can see the umbrella cells like i said i have only two differential diagnoses one is pannulum the other is urothelial papilloma right now let's zoom out a little bit okay Let's zoom out a little bit. Look at this area. Okay. Can I say the number of cell layers is definitely more than six? It's a little bit more. It's thicker. Do you accept it's thicker? Maybe in few areas. See here, it's normal, right? I'll zoom it again. Pannulump is not. It's not that every thing will have the same thing. But yes, definitely you can see areas of thickness, right? Let's zoom on. Let's go to areas. Uh, it's definitely thicker it's definitely thicker it's not like the urothelial papilloma where everything was clear cut it's definitely thicker and it's more compact as well right as you look it's definitely more compact right pannulum will have a thickened urothelium it will be easily more than 3 to 6 layers thick that's the first thing second pannulum will have retained umbrella cells that's, that means the polarity will not be lost right third you will have a slight enlarged nuclei it will be more crowded that's classical here right even in the non thicker areas i'll just go to the urothelial papilloma look at it is it crowded this is normal urothelial papilloma can i definitely say this is crowded yes i do have crowding i do have a little bit of more thickness but there's a retained the topmost umbrella cell right and one more feature of pannulum is you can see mitosis it's not that mitosis will be completely absent you can see mitosis sometimes in the basal layer I am not able to definitely stick right it's not definitely thin it's definitely a thick lining maybe if you scroll through this further uh, the digital slide is available in the rxdx app you can just go and have a look at it if required you scan through this definitely you can see mitosis right i'm just skipping it for now but definitely you can see mitosis especially in the basal layer it should be seen only in the basal layer it should not come up right that's one thing fine so we saw two things one was papillary urothelial papilloma very very simple retained umbrella layer normal thickness then pannulum again very simple crowding more thickness and retained umbrella layer little bit of atp here and there and your mitosis at the basal layer right now let's go to the third lesion here right the third lesion here is this i'll tell you the diagnosis first itself so that's easy easy for us to understand right it's a non invasive urothelial carcinoma low grade right okay it's a multiple fragmented tissue bits here and few thing i am just going to focus on this tissue bit right let's zoom in first thing undoubtedly very thick yes perfect second as i zoom in here see this is the papillary front are you seeing umbrella layer or is it kind of merged you are not seeing an umbrella layer at all right the topmost layer is not seen right ignore this this is a crush artifact right the topmost layer is not not seen at all that's one thing here also even here i am not seeing the topmost umbrella layer right so can i say here the polarity is lost again for us to compare have a look at this this is this is a papillary front definitely way thicker right 
and the topmost thing is not umbrella layer it's tiny ones right if you're not seeing an umbrella layer let's go here let's go here this is panlam this is also hyperplastic can you see the topmost umbrella layer here 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 i hope you're gonna appreciate them right you are seeing that here i don't see that definitely it's way thicker right so first thing i have a loss of polarity when i have a loss of polarity i want you to think of if it's non-invasive i want you to think of low grade or a high grade urethral carcinoma that's all it's very simple to identify right so if only these will have loss of polarity okay so now my only thing is i have to say it's a low grade or high grade i'll show you one more image high grade will be evident right you must have seen serious carcinomas of multiple places high grade will tell to you see i'm high grade i'm cancer a low grade might not that's only thing required for me you need not even worry into it right that's the easiest bit for you to understand but if i have to go to the textbooks textbooks say they are delicate papillae with extensive branching and fusion right i hope you'll accept that it's definitely branched look at this it's branched look at this it's branched and it's fused see this is a branch this is a branch i don't see the common cleft here right it's definitely fused right exactly as per the textbook definitely thicken it's it'll be a variable thickening but definitely thickened by default loss of polarity is there mild irregularity and pleomorphism right you won't see atypical cells all over see i'll just zoom in i won't call this atypical cells all over right it's decent but yes one big guy one big guy occasionally big guy right it's not very frank atypia like this image right this is not a digital slide this is an image that's atypia this is frank atypia right this is frank atypia yeah right doesn't even bother for me whether it's thick or not thick though it will have, have variable thickness only it yeah, doesn't bother look at this any any person any person call it a cancer of high grade right so that's a difference right so i hope you enjoy this class i hope you enjoy this video so this video's agenda is very simple to remember the urothelial neoplasms urothelial papilloma we have the pun lump we have the low grade urothelial cancer right like i said i'll definitely put this uh, uh, table in, which includes also immunohistochemistry. chemistry i'm not going to i had seen this uh, video let's maybe look at sometimes in some other case uh, in the uh, whatsapp channel and the whatsapp groups and all these slides are available for you in the rxdx app right see you soon if you have not downloaded the app yet please click in the uh, link below and download the app right see you guys bye bye